For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Thursday, October 27th, my name is Ian Kelly, and these are the stories we're following at this hour. The Vermont Health Department says COVID-19 activity in the state remains at a medium level. There were 595 new cases of the virus reported this past week with 76 related hospital admissions. Rescue Inc. is continuing to run a series of mobile COVID vaccination units. Federal prosecutors in New Hampshire say 31-year-old Jennifer Bosworth of Keene was sentenced to serve 60 months in federal prison for possession with intent to distribute fentanyl and crack cocaine. In April of last year, Bosworth had driven to Massachusetts in violation of her probation and was stopped by police when she returned to the state. After removing Ms. Bosworth from her car, law enforcement observed a baggie containing roughly 15 grams of crack cocaine. A later search of Ms. Bosworth's car resulted in the seizure of over 85 additional grams of crack cocaine, over 80 grams of fentanyl, and roughly 10 grams of powder cocaine, along with over $1,200 in cash. A former state trooper who also spent two years representing Putney in the Vermont House is a Democratic candidate for state Senate. Nadir Hashim says he's interested in promoting the expansion of housing in village centers along with building additional water and sewer capacity in those village centers. An interview with Hashim can be heard in the news section at WTSARadio.com. The Vermont Attorney General's Office has reached a settlement with a New Hampshire-based staffing agency that employed a temporary caregiver to multiple Vermont long-term care facilities, despite knowing that the caregiver had financially exploited at least two older Vermonters while employed on the agency's watch. The settlement requires the staffing agency, Staffing Solutions of Vermont, to pay a penalty to the state of Vermont, overhaul its employee hiring and termination practices, and be subject to ongoing state oversight. WTSA Sports, the Bruins host the Detroit Red Wings tonight with the puck dropping at 7 p.m. And a pretty good Thursday night football game on the way that sees Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens visiting Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers tonight. Kickoff for Thursday night football is at 8.15. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on your Thursday, October 27th, my name is Ian Kelly. Have a safe and tremendous day, everybody.